first of all, do you have any um, do you have any comp stuff, or do we, or just solo queue today? It's only solo queue today. Comp stuff is because we haven't started like actual comp stuff yet. Because okay. bosses yeah. are still yeah yeah, yeah yeah all right, all right. All right. yeah solo queue is fine. Um, I think we should have time for both, right? Depends on my time, because yeah. mine is kind of shaky. Uh, my mom did text me, so we'll have to see about whatever happens to that. I asked if I could get a delay. We'll see how it happens. All right, cool. Yeah, well, let, let's 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 focus on the... What's wrong with the Yasuo Jace game? Are you playing Yasuo or Jace? I was playing Yasuo. You're playing Yasuo. Okay, let's take a look at I, that. I got disgustingly fucking fed. Yeah, let's and take a look. It's the, or, yeah, the game... Well, hold on. What, what's the game you played against Impact? What was the matchup there? Camille Graves, I got absolutely shit on when I'm Were playing you playing Camille. Camille? I was playing Camille. Yes. Yeah, you should. You should get Shana. So here's the thing. I can take a look at the the Yasuo Jace matchup. I'm not going to pretend to be a an expert on Yasuo, right? I'm also not an expert on Yasuo. Oh, so that's perfectly well, fine. All right. Well, it's up to you. Pick a pull up whichever one you want. Okay. Because I'm let's pull, I'm let's do the fucking Yasuo. Because I'm going to be honest. Like, there's a lot of spots similar to these where I get disgustingly ahead in lane because he throws like first three levels. Yep. The game still takes 35 minutes then. <laughs> yeah, okay, I, yeah. Well, yeah, it, we'll, I feel like... We'll, we'll, we'll see what happened here. Here, I think yeah. I could 100% did a lot more, especially because we have Yasuo, Diana, fucking Galio. Uh -huh. Never worked out for some reason. I don't know what happened. And you have Pike mid as well, right? Oh no, Galio yeah. mid, Galio mid, Galio mid. No, it's, it's Pike it mid, is Pike Galio. Mid. Is it Davemon yeah. or is it, who is it? Or is it RJS I, I don't, having his fucking I don't little think... fit? I don't think it's Dave on RGS, it's just some random guy There's playing Pikmin on my right, team. Cool, 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 cool. cool. Alright, let me get my pen up. Uh, we, we've we've talked about this uh, this level 1 positioning, right? In bush? Yeah, 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 we have. Okay. Also, you're not streaming your screen. Uh, just keep... Oh, my fault. My fault. My yeah, fault. I was just looking at the game myself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let, let me pull the, uh, the stream up. Sorry, I'm also trying to also get my pen up at the same time, so I'll pull it up. <clears throat> All right, streaming screen. Uh, no, yeah. All right, cool. So yeah, this is what I mean by like he just disgustingly trolls like the first three fucking levels. It's yeah, like... he. I'm assuming he just walks into you and you just take a hard trade and naturally win it. He he fucking dies. Yeah. Oh, he dies level one. So here's the question. Um, with lethal changes being more pushed mid to late game. Do you still take lethal on this champ, or do, you take, or do you take conquer? I think Yone Yasuo, lethal still has a lot of edge in the early game. and Literally I'm just because be of their attack speed scalings, right? Yeah. Okay. The thing is, is that late game, I can see... Late game, mid game, I can see why you want, like, conquer. It's that early game, like, if you're going to be playing those champions, you kind of need it, because, like, you need fucking prior somehow, somewhere, yeah, right? Yeah, he, he has to flash way earlier than he does. Because you literally kill him off next to you. <laughs> okay. I'm telling you, he I'm telling you, he really okay. trolls the early game. Okay. Yeah, it's yeah, not... yeah, yeah. This game should not be 35 minutes in my eyes. It should be 25 or 20 minutes just based off my lead that okay. I get. Yeah. That doesn't All fucking right. happen. I don't know about taking pink, but um, actually, I, I don't like pink as a pickup. I think you're I better off just selling pot and going selling for pot and um, refillable. Yeah, refillable. Yeah. Just we'll because you have a spot off. where it's like, if you have a general idea where your jungler should be, you shouldn't need the pink you uh, before first yeah. box. You're just spending <laughs> yeah, the gold yeah, to yeah. spend the gold. Alright. <clears throat> yeah, your jungler's even pathing towards you because even lost a reason for the pink, but it's fine. Yeah. Alright, so now pretty so you essentially just play to not get poked out too hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So by the time your jungler gets top, you can play. Because you know you're playing flashless, you couldn't pull the wave because of the reset. Yeah. yeah. Honestly, I think you just go for fucking. Um, depending on how Jace plays it out, now nah, you can't you can't crash on two just because you're playing Jace and Diaso. You have to play safe. Yeah, I mean, what I, what I do is that I just yeah, like, you just play for hard level two all in. All right, yeah, that's fine. The fact he lets you hit two first, I think, is a little awkward, but it works out for you. Now you want to crash this wave as soon as possible. I feel. Because you're in a spot where you want the wave to be generally coming back by the time Diana comes back up to By the time Diana right? comes back, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So you get this wave in. Yeah, walk up. I honestly think you're in a spot here where... Hold on, pause it. You're in a spot here, I think, based off where the wave is crashing, you can literally just walk straight in. All the way and in. just get one yeah. right here, right? Yeah, that, that makes sense. That word actually serves a lot better. Like, you have a large enough wave to get it off. Oh, so there's just a lot more time. Like, I can't yeah. really do anything here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Who's the other jungler? It's Graves. 
Yeah, Graves yeah, I think that I think that that ward actually helps a lot against uh, as Graves because you want the wave to come in anyway, so you're not going to be hard contesting it. Um, yeah. On the way back in. All right, so the wave's, the wave's coming into you. It was like fucking dream center. I'm like, okay, this lane's actually over. Yeah, yeah, the lane should be essentially over at this point. Like, we no longer care about Pryo at 315 because Cuddle Crab doesn't mean anything. I honestly think you don't even take a point in W. Yeah, that's reasonable. Yeah, I think you just probably go two points Q, right? Yeah. Yeah, because I feel like W early on here like, it's not going to do anything for you because you... Chase doesn't have lethal. You'd rather just have the extra damage for... Uh... I mean, the only argument I'd have is uh, maybe if Graves comes, the W becomes useful. Yeah, if, if Graves comes, W comes. Alright, alright. All right. And here it's like I'm just yeah, waiting. Here this he guy no basically just there. dies off of a tornado, right? Yeah. Yeah. All right, yeah. And then you just pretty much crash the wave reset. I right. just freeze here. You freeze here. All right, yeah. You could also freeze here. My, yeah, my actually, actually what, what if, you're, if you're gonna do it, I would say legitimately reset right now. Right. Okay, so. Yeah, resets the angle. I think. Okay, but this should happen. This is yeah, so fucking lucky. Yeah, this happens. This happens. I, we're, I don't again, understand. We're, we're just we're just fighting over over crab for no reason. That's the only reason. I, I have to come by the way, or else they just yeah. all fucking die. Yeah, it's yeah, you do have to come. Depressing. You do have to come. It's it's unfortunate. Like I feel like if you just reset and just let the and just let the wave do what it's doing, because look at look at the I, wave I right now, right? Like yeah, yeah, yeah. Like in, in, entirely ignore this fight, right? Just look at the fucking wave. If you would have reset on that and literally just come back, the next wave catches that. By the time you get there, you have literally a triple stacked wave. Just fucking ready for you to just take. Ready for him, and then he, he can, and he can never fucking walk up. Yeah, yeah, but he, I, I he mean... can never do anything. He can never, ever, ever do anything. Look at that fucking wave and how juicy it would be. Right now, yeah. you'd be almost hitting your fucking uh, tier two tower if yeah. you had reset in, in my, and walked back. Yeah. In my head, no, I, I you. think it, like logically, I think it's like a miscommunication. Because like the thing is, we can go for the scuttle if we just push in my wave, right? But it's not like the Diana wanted that. Like she didn't ping it or whatever, right? Yeah. Yeah. Honestly, like. In in a competitive game, you like Diana just doesn't go for Scuttle there. To be honest, I don't think that Jace TPs for Scuttle either. You yeah, know what I mean? I think, like I think, I, I think that like it's just all right. Diana gets Scuttle. Jace has died twice. We're gonna call it a day. This happens because it's solo queue. Like we're not really yeah. here to talk talk about solo queue right now. Like we have to realize that the correct play for you in a normal game state where people aren't just monkeying is just to reset. And just catch the wave as it comes catch in, the and then wave. Jace is just yeah. fucked out of his mind. Because you know, yeah. you, you know his flash time already. It's the exact same as yours. Right? I have Berserker Spike, and he's yeah. just ruined. Yeah. So the main play is, is like once you have that, once you have that wave in, you want to slow push. You want you want to catch the wave, slow push it out, three stack a wave, uh, get it in, reset, spend gold again. By that time, I think there's a good chance Diana will be back around top. Diana will can be back around top side. Yeah. Because yeah. around that time where it should be around 6:30, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so 6:30 for you to for you to crash that wave. Um, by the time it comes back, it'll be around 6:30. Wait, no, seven. I mean, I'm gonna be honest. I probably try keeping it frozen. Right What's up? I probably try keeping it frozen for as long as possible, and then just push it back when Jet Dine is just coming topside, and we just go for dive at six. Can you? But the question is, can you keep a wave like that frozen? Because you're you're you're, you're talking about coming back to like four to like a, a, a triple stack minion wave. I think with Yasuo W and one refillable, I think I can. Okay, I mean Yasuo I, Yasuo warps things a little bit, right? Yeah. Because the way I, that I, I, I see it is the minions do way too much damage. But if Yasuo can actually keep the wave there and you can thin it enough without essentially breaking the freeze, yeah. Then because yeah, what? Possible. What would end up happening is that I just have to like clear the melees, wind wall, and then Jace can't really walk up. I will just free hit the minions, and I think I should probably be fine. Because yeah. like the way I see it is that you're not Diana will not be able to make a play before Jace's flash comes back up, topside. Yeah. So I literally think that your next play is to set up a wave state where Diana can come up to burn Jace's flash on her own. Yeah. Okay. Right? I see. Which is why I was like, I don't even think you freeze it. I literally just think you slow push it out, reset for as much as much of a gold advantage as possible by the time Diana comes up. Gotcha, I see. Right, because if you would catch the wave reset, you'd probably be resetting around eight, nine hundred gold, right? Yeah. So that's m most of a uh, new quiver, right? Yeah. Yeah. So it's just double long sword or double long sword and um, fucking dagger. Instead, this is what happens. So let's live in in what's actually happening right now. All right, you can't necessarily. So, 
part of me wants to say you walk up with W to stop him from doing this. Yeah. Let me see if that actually works. Um, if you walk up, he immediately goes over. Yeah, it works because he has to. He, if he wants to, yeah, yeah, he has he to has Q to, on to you yeah, and you just win that there. trade based off where you are right now. Up yeah. a level and just up items in gold. It's not end of the world situation. Yeah, it is, you know, it's but, fine. It's fine. It's yeah. fine. Yeah. I feel I'm like you're, you're strong enough to get the wave in anyway. Right, so this wave comes in. You essentially just queue for poke, yeah. See, but not and then you want to wait for it to come back out. Because right yeah. now, or right now she's making a play around bot side, so you can essentially... Yeah. I mean, what I, I just pull the wave and I just go back. Yep. Now the wave's going to come out into you. Yeah, now I'm just chilling. See, I, I, I'm i doing this a lot this game, and you'll see it a lot. It's like, maybe there has to be a, a different angle that I just, I'm missing for what this game. I mean, per personally, I, I think currently you're playing your waves really well. Or mostly pretty well. Right? Yeah. Like, I'm not concerned with how you're playing these waves so far. I don't think that you've made any, like, huge, massive mistakes other than maybe walking in that last wave that we talked yeah. about, like, a second ago, right? Yeah. This is just free damage. Uh, you need. I feel like you need to EQ that. If you still have your E up, there's, I don't think there's much of a reason for you to hold. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. Like, it just guarantees. It doesn't let him get that uh, walk behind you off. Yeah, just of things. I could have fucking killed Yeah, because it's like, I, I also, based off, like, where your HP, where your XP is right now, I don't know why this all is happening right now. Oh, uh, should have waited for like, six. Look at it like this, right? You have a wave that you know is coming into you. You know your Diana's on bot side, so you're not looking to play super aggressively. Right? Why not yeah. just wait for six, be in a long lane so you don't have to toe the line on diving and not diving to actually get this kill? And he's yeah. in a spot where it's like, all right, I either have to fucking flash the Yasuo engage, and yeah. keep in mind, at this point, you're in a long enough flame with a large enough wave that you can yeah. E through the wave, and if, and if Graves comes, you just E back. Right? So you put yourself in kind of a weird spot here where it's like now you have to reset and a wave is crashing, you don't have fucking TP. Right? Yeah. So. Pay attention to how much XP you have, because if you actually wait till 6, this kill happens 100% of the time. Or worst case scenario, Graves shows up, or he flashes or something, and alright, you burnt flash for nothing, and you just E back. You still live. Yeah. Worst, worst case scenario, Graves loops around fucking, um, here, and you guys go flash for flash. Right? Yeah. That still favors you with how strong you are on the line. Yeah. I'm like fucking Exodia right now, this yeah. guy is suffering. So this, I feel like, is your big is your big first mistake of the of the lane. Like I I was assuming that you were that you were you were gonna die as soon as you missed tornado. Or there's a chance you died as soon as you missed tornado. Then I see you have e uh, e up, and I'm just like, why the fuck do you have <laughs> e up e and and not eq? Like that it's, feels yeah, like it's so a guaranteed well, knockup. It's fucking hard. Yeah. My brain. I mean, so I now see you're in a spot where it's like, Graves yeah, Graves is coming. coming. If Diana okay. doesn't come up right away, like you just get dove and die. See, that's what I thought. He just never fucking came. Oh, no, he did come. Yeah, he does. Yeah. He never fucking dove. So it looks like he's just covering so that Graves can, Jace can actually get the wave in. Because Jace looks like he's playing to just reset right now, based off of his, based off of his mana expenditure. Yeah. Alright. I think logically I wanted the base... Yeah, you want to nice reset. Nice, you don't care about nice pink. Doing this pink. But it's like, what are they doing? Like, wh what what's going on? Like, realistically, why do you have to be there for that play? You you see the, you see them grouped in river. You have an idea that Graves may be in the area. You know the Jace is on reset. Why do you have to be there? So, the thought process in my head is that I see Galley mo moving up and my team moving into river. I'm thinking you want something topside, and I'm like, okay, then do I have to stay or do I not have to stay? And then I mean, usually you're, you're... for sorry, yeah, yeah. I mean, no, like, no, keep, keep going. I think in competitive setting, I would have set the fuck off or do whatever the hell or like just care because I'm gonna be resetting. But like in this type of setting, I think I'm more inclined to stay only because of how chaotic things are. In a way. I, I I understand what you mean, but even in a chaotic environment, you do not go. Okay. Right, you're okay. on a, you, the timer is seven minutes. When does Harold spawn? Okay. It spawns at eight. You want to be reset and have your wave in a good spot by the time that spawns. You like, like I said, you know the chase is on reset. Yeah. Fucking um, Diana Pike don't die to Corky to level five Corky Graves, right? Yeah. So unless whoever the support is is on Rome and Gallia wasn't there, there's zero fucking threat here, right? 
All that Diana's going to do is she's going to walk into her... If you don't come, all she does is she walks into her jungle, she finishes her topside clear, resets, clears top to bot, is on top is on top side by Herald Timer. Yeah, I see. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it's just like, like... Like I said, even in a chaotic environment, there's zero reason for you to be there. You're essentially coming down to contest a seven-minute skull crab. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, I know what you mean. So it's like, even this ward, I don't even feel like is worth staying to fucking uh, clear. Because you can clear it once you fucking uh, push your wave and after reset. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know that Graves can't be up, can't be up t- can't be up top on that timer. Or probably won't be up top on that timer. And we saw him fucking with Diana, anyways. So yeah. So now you're pushing away. We don't need to fucking push in. Essentially, just so you get noon quiver. So like, all right. So you have noon quiver instead of whatever on reset. Okay. I and need your to, waves timer. I need, I need opinions. Is noon quiver better than zeal second on like? Yasuo this is what I mean by like I'm not a Yasuo guy. I I'm not sure what 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 the consensus is with that community right now. Okay, I can cause... like I, I would say look into it. Talk to some people that do play a lot of Yasuo and Yon. I know that Zeal early is very nice, but what I've heard at least last season was it was Noon Quiver into Zeal into finishing your mythic. I see. Okay, I will get. A... I don't know, but again, I don't know if that's true. I don't know how accurate that is. I'm not a Yasuo guy, okay. but that's what I've heard and it made sense to me. I know that Zeal before your first item is ideal. Yeah. Right, I don't remember if it's boot zeal or if it's boots noon quiver zeal, but it's one of the two. Right, yeah. look into it, talk to people. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause that's just like in my head. I'm like, fuck, what the fuck's better? Like, yeah, just goes zeal. Yeah, I get you. I get you. I mean, they they both give similar attack speed, right? The only difference is crit chance. Yeah, yeah the crit chance. Yeah. Right. So <clears throat> now, one herald spawn, your wave's gonna be in a weird spot. You're late. Right. Jace actually has probably one herald spawn now. In competitive, this matters. In this case, it doesn't because they're all playing around bot side for uh, Drake, right? Yeah. I catch the wave though, luckily. Yeah, I... yeah, you catch the wave, but it's like with them in competitive. If they're on Drake first, all of a sudden you're having to walk into yeah. fucking Jace and probably their entire fucking team because they're just sending yeah. four top for Herald, right? That feels really, really bad. You just have to be aware of the timers and when you're resetting, right? I don't think you actually walk that close to the tower. I think you just let it come in. You know that Chase isn't there. He's not gonna. He's not gonna stop it or hold it. You don't know who else is topside. Well, maybe yeah. you do. I wasn't really looking at bot side at the same time. Let me actually check mm. if you have an idea. I mean, thing is, we have seen two people bot side. One person from mid just went down, and then Corky. I think it's just well, the Corky mid went down. Yeah. And called, and we see him on package. And so. Okay. Yeah. All right. So you're hanging out. I mean, right now. Yeah, I mean, he picked up package. No idea where the fuck he's going with it. So I see him. Well, he's probably going to be uh, holding bot side with it, realistically. All right, you know that Graves is down there. You know that Corky's down there. Here's an angle you can either look for lethal or you can look to just kind of crash wave. I'm like fishing for it. He is not giving it to me. Yeah, well, he's, you know, he's, he has to be there, like, at least a little bit yeah. mentally. I'm like, fucking Christ, man. Because, like, realistically speaking, like, there's nothing you can do about what's happening on the bot side of the map. You're aware of that, right? Yeah, I'm aware. Like, it's fucking... You can't TP. Like, you can't fucking do really anything. You are existing in a vacuum. You are playing Jace and no one else. Jace is probably aware that he literally cannot go. All you do is you thin the wave. You thin the wave, you keep it here. Right? Yeah. That's it. To be honest with you, there's not even a fucking point in you even looking anymore, because you literally can't go. Just chilling. Like, are you gonna walk down from topside? <laughs> no, not really. I'm just. It's like, yeah, to... like it's nice to like F key because like you know you feel like you're. Uh, we said we should be holding that wave. It's because Jay showed. Oh, Jay showed him about. Yeah, Jay showed mid. Yeah, you're right. My bad. I wasn't looking at map. That's yeah, fine. Yeah, Jay showed him basically you just crash it. Yeah. Okay, but this was just fucking insanity, by the way. What? I swear to God, is this where the fucking quirky packages up? I. It's the most like. He packages to you. It's fucking weird. I don't even know. I'm pretty sure package cooldown is way off or something, but there's a moment. Okay, not this moment then. There's a psychopathic fucking moment where this Corky is just like. Yeah, because I was like, I'm pretty sure his package is down by now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I honestly think you just sell fucking um, refillable for Noon Quiver. Noon Quiver? Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. Because, like, the AD, the attack speed, and the fact that you're getting fucking um, 40 AD against minions, it's not huge, but it's something. I just don't know the fucking like math on this champion. I don't know whether. Yeah, again, I'm I'm not sure either. I could literally be fucking wrong. 
Yeah. Like, I mean, I'll, I'll have to look into it. I'm aware of when to pick Yasuo. Like, I can I can have a general idea of how to play out a lane with Yasuo in it, but I'm not going to know the small things about the champion, right? I mean, that's generally what I'm doing here. I just know, like, the, why I'm playing Yasuo. It's fucking Diana Galio. Yeah. And then lane ways, I understand how to fucking work the champion, mm -hmm. but, like, specific mechanics, I'll have right, trouble with. Again, this is another kind of time where you would rather place, you'd rather go deeper to place this ward, deeper right? Deeper place the ward, yeah. You know that Corky's making a play on bot side, or probably making a play on bots right now, because there's three bot right now, right? Yeah, yeah, You yeah. definitely want to go deep to, deeper to place the ward. Yeah, I see. Like Diana, Diana's even on top side. So if if they try to like chase you or whatever, oh uh, yeah, see Graves even ends up being there. I don't, th I, you know, I don't think Graves kills you if he walks at you, right? You just fucking. He, he, I fucking get out. I two v one them actually in my head. Yeah, like I'm pretty sure you're fine. Like, so you going in to place that fucking ward with the, with the state that you're currently in, I think is totally fine. Because you know that Corky okay. can't be there. That's the only thing that you would need. If the third person would turn the tide, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Alright, you're coming down. Get your second Q. Why don't you get your second Q? On I... minion is chasing you. I'm mental. Uh, you probably just not paying attention, it's fine. Alright, now you're setting up your wave. She doesn't go top She doesn't like, go top fuck. of it. Okay. Yeah, she doesn't go top with it. That's why I'm like, fuck it. I, I mean, you first. know what? Is she, is, she not, is she not going top with Harold in general, or just right now? Because I understand why she wouldn't go right now. She doesn't have her ult up. She just... I don't think she goes at all. I think she spawns a bot side, if I remember correctly. It was the most... I don't ah, know. Ah. I... That feels wacky to me. You can look for all in here if that hits. Okay. All right. I'm, I've been fishing the entire game. Yeah. This this he is the kind has, of game where you literally just ult any time he's out of fucking um. Yeah, power range, every time he's literally like just, out for, of power just for just for damage. Just like even if you don't kill him, like you're gonna you're gonna blow something and you're gonna make it so he has to reset. And I will totally say that Jace, that Jace into the fucking lane, but him playing from behind, he played. Yeah, he played fine. Yeah, he did. He did what had to happen. Yeah. I feel like you you just queue up the wall. You don't queue into the uh. Into the tri brush. Yeah, that makes sense. Because it, it denies him access into it, because he can walk past it if you queue uh, into the tri brush. He can't walk past yeah. it if you queue uh, up the wall. That R seems redundant. I don't like Hamster Boy very much. Seems like you know him pretty well. <laughs> huh? Seems like you know him. I mean, he. I, it's just a name I recognized from like solo queue like four years ago, and I keep seeing him in like Masters Plus games. And I just keep doing he just this plays fucking repeat. the most fucking skill, least skill expressive champions. He used to be a Nunu one trick, then he was like an Ivern Ivern Nunu one trick. Now he's playing fucking Galio. I just dislike the player. It's whatever. Sorry, I, I got on sidetrack. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, speaking of sidetrack, you know, you know, two nights ago I had a fucking nightmare about talk about uh, RJS. The fuck? Yeah, right. This guy's living right in your he head. He literally or what? fucking is. It's disgusting. I had a nightmare where he made just like the dumbest point I could fucking imagine, and then whenever I tried to argue with him, he just yelled over me. <laughs> like, and I woke up and I was just in a cold fucking sweat. I was losing my mind. Anyway, Jesus fucking Christ, just right to what's going on here. Yeah. All right, so you want to actually look to look to push this wave out very soon, because look at the the timer on um up here, right? Yeah. Your teleport's about to be ready, and fucking um Jace is already Jace, Jace is already down yeah. here, and Dragon's up, right? Yeah. You want to be looking to crash this wave and playing and be playing into tower into tower, so you don't, so you don't reset on a wave that lets you that makes you lose things around top side, right? Looks like you yeah. kind of realize this now, but it should have been happening a little bit earlier. Because I mean, in I fucking four seconds, you can TP. Yeah, you should have been doing this and resetting way sooner. I oh, believe well, in my team. Yeah, your team just wipes. My, they they yeah. just fucking in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Okay, your your team just wipes. Your team just wipes. It's fine. It's fine. Normally, I would say you should have been reset already, but because your team wins anyway. Oh, it, oh wait, do they? Oh, never mind. Oh, okay. <laughs> you lose Dragon off that, I think. <clears throat> See? You, you would think... Except they int further, guys. They they aren't they aren't on dragon yet. There's no way. They aren't on dragon yet. Because mm, the problem is you don't you end up not getting tower. 
Like, if you okay, get aren't, tower, aren't... the trade can somewhat be worth it because your team did get first trade, right? Yeah, okay, so the thing is, I'm trying to break this tower. Like, Porky, I don't think you saw it. He's fucking sprinting topside with that package, by the way. He thinks the play on bot side is dead. Because they just should have control over, um, over Dragon. Which they should, realistically, but... Realistically, like, yes. In, normally, though, normally, though, we have to go back to about a minute ago. You have to be crashing that wave at about, um... At about 1340. Yeah, right? I have to get used to the fucking new TP changes. On yeah. how Be aware of when it's fucking coming up. Like, it's the exact yeah. same timer plates as uh, plates, right? Yeah, it's 14. Yeah, it's the exact same timer as plates. Be aware that when that kind of stuff is happening, especially when objective is up, you have to have not only crash the wave, but crash the wave and reset to spend the gold. Yeah. Right? Because if you're coming down sitting on fucking 600 gold, you're a fucking moron. Yeah. And now this this is so late, you're not going to stop them from getting the dragon. You're just there to be there. Like, yes, you get kills, but you're not there when you actually have to be there. You yes. know what I mean? Like, you can you can literally give your team the dragon by just playing this playing this out correctly. Now, you cannot tell me we don't dive this motherfucker. Yeah, you dive him. Yeah. <laughs> Why is he walking? I'm so fucking depressed. <sighs> he, 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 he pretty much gets one shot if you just come, right? I mean, even if he if just he, goes down the other all, way. Yeah, he just dies. Like... He has to go through the other way, though, and just let some out, I right, guess. At least you guys get first turret. So you quirky trades on top side, that's fine. I was so fucking weirded out. I'm like, there's a psychopath. You don't have R up in time, it's fine. The guy still just gets fucking one shot. There's no way this guy just... Okay, good. I hope you know, I was looking for it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Does my... I, I want to kind of back off. Galia kind of stays there. Like, well, Galia, gonna... Galia's looking for a, a fucking... An E that can't happen. There it is, alright. That's nice. By the way, th my champion is fucking paper thin, by the way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I never realized this. I yeah, get, be be excited for the Death Dance changes next patch where you build it every game. I didn't look at them, but I'll look at them. Um, oh. it's not phys it's not just physical damage anymore. Bless up, Corky is ruined. <laughs> yeah, it's physical and magic damage, and it's the, in in compensation they lowered the uh, percentage by five that it uh it releases. Uh, that, and also now the, the heal them. scales off uh, bonus AD. <laughs> Instead okay, of uh, max health now, yeah. Shit, oh yeah. Uh, well, you know what? After after this, we'll, I'll we'll go over the uh, the change list actually. I mean, this game, yeah. Do you want to keep going over this game or? Because laning uh, phase is, is okay, essentially think... over. Laning phase is over. I need you to fucking look at how the fucking team fights go though. Okay. There I mean, has to the, be a because team fights I... feel like they're very easy for you to play. Right. They feel like they're easy for me to What's play, that? but there's just right. moments... Fuck, I, I have to find it myself, because it's yeah. not going to happen for a while, I think. But it's like, the positioning is just, like, whack on my side sometimes. A lot of the next... I'll just find it's it like The, the question bit. I have is, do you need heal cut right now? So, in my head, the thing is, I don't want to sit on the seal. Um, Sitting on the seal's fine. If, Because you buy the zeal for the early spike, so you sitting on it is not a problem. I see, I see. Because, like, here's the thing. I do feel like heal cut is nice. I feel like you need it. Like, it's good to have this game between Graves and Jace, right? Yeah. And then Caitlyn eventually as well. However, I don't think you need it right now. I feel like you're better off just starting, just putting that kind of gold into Infinity Edge. Well, okay, so... I, I could be wrong. I could be wrong. I, I think I think the, I think the other yeah. side is... I mean, I already do a shit ton of damage. Yeah. I mean, like, just get the 1400 in. I'm going to get the gold for IE anyways with time. I think... Uh, no, I do see your point, though, because the 1300... The spike yeah, like, it's, 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 it's... Oh, it's, this it's, was... It's Stop the mod. Yeah. 
So there's between BF Sword and um, Pickaxe versus just Pickaxe, right? Yeah, just Pickaxe. Because like, yes, you're getting 25 AD from finishing Mortal Reminder, right? Because it does it does give AD, correct? Because of yeah. Uh, execution. Yeah, you can 25 AD still from building building Mortal Reminder. But you could have more AD, and you're still mostly gonna you're still you're not gonna have capped out crit, but it's close enough where it may as well be capped out, right? Yeah. I don't know. In my mind, I feel like delaying Infinity Edge is worse, but I could be wrong. Oh, this is just me, like, my, all my team's dead, Limit Dust, Tiny. Oh, yeah, you're a fucking... I don't know why you do this. You're 7-0, you're just giving gold for no reason. <laughs> why would you ask me a question like, I don't know how I can win this game and then make a play like that? <laughs> like, <laughs> we don't talk about it, okay. You you're not allowed to do that, man. I'm telling you, after I've seen my... T okay, I'm gonna be honest, I don't think it happens this game. If you it's, if it's you this. and Diana, that, that, it's that 2v5 free. is possible. But Let with me just you, you, you're actually a dick for that. I'm so fucking tilted this game, my Diana kept using ulti solo. That's okay, well, alright. Well. Also, we could probably dip from this game. All also, right. I have to check on my mom, because she hasn't responded if I have to go to this thing yet, because this depends whether I could stay for longer. Yeah, now. yeah, yeah, sure, sure, sure. Okay, I texted her, and then we could just go over the changes yeah, we... for now. Yeah, let's go over the fucking changes. Um... I fucking hate this guy, by the way. <laughs> Flux. Yeah, fucking right, Flux. Scumbag. Uh, anyway, um, here are the Bruce Artem changes. <clears throat> oh my fucking god. They're Christ basically god. lowering HP and everything, and in exchange for more AD on everything. Oh, pretty much every phage in any build path is being replaced with the Caulfields. Um, Wait, phage? Trinity or... Force, I think, is getting actually nerfed quite a bit. Why are they nerfing Trinity for so hard? No I don't. I actually that. don't know. I, Almost they, no one's building I, this item. No one's building it. I feel like in the spots where it's good, it's really good. I guess that could be a reason why, but it's just not a reason to. Yeah, I mean, because like you, you have to think about it. Like this isn't just six to three percent. This is essentially a fifteen percent base AD nerf. Yeah, yeah. Because it would stack five times. You know what I mean? Like yeah, that's so I mean, disgusting to me. Steric's um, Gage actually will give you more... I did the math. It'll give you equal or more AD, assuming you get it around, like, level 13. I have Second item. What's up? The heal on Death Stance. 15% max HP to what? 175 bonus AD. What the fuck? Isn't that, like, a 500-300 deal every time you get a kill one? Uh-huh, yeah. Well, it's bonus, it's bonus, it's bonus. bonus. Oh, it's not okay. base, you know what I mean? So... Assuming you buy Death Dance like third or fourth every game, you're probably going to be sitting on 40, 80, between 80 and 100, well, actually, actually probably like 120 and like 150, uh, probably like 120, 130 uh, total air bonus AD, just from items, yeah, right? Because yeah. you're looking, like, let, 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 let's just say that you build something like Sunder or Gord, or let's, let's say you build Gore Drinker, fucking Sterix, Death Dance, right? The Gore yeah, Drinker sure. will give you 55, the Sterics will give you close to 50 55. That's about 100, 100, 110. Death Dance will give you another 55. Right? Yeah. So that's. I don't know if I'm wrong, but that's 165. 175% of that is about 300. Right? Yeah. So it basically just incentivizes people that build more AD to get more out of the item than they would if they just built a. What's it called? If they just built HP prior, right? Yeah. So yeah, Death Dance, um, I literally think this is like an every game item at this point. If you... I feel like not early, but like third or fourth. No, 80 carries <laughs> might still might not always build it. Because it's 10% for ranged. Oh, fuck, I didn't see that. Yeah, right? What did you think the, the slash meant? <laughs> right? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, wait, I have to read through these really quick. I think the Blade of the Ruin King... Wait a minute. They're it's just getting buffed 2%. It. What the fuck? They're buffing that item? Well, they're also increasing the price by 100, but yes. What the fuck? That item is not okay. The 100 gold is, like, irrelevant. Yeah, it's for irrelevant, it. I think. I mean, here's the thing. The combined cost for Blade of the Ruin King is already high. It's 900, isn't it? Or is it 700? I think it's 700. Yeah, okay, so it's gonna be 800 now. 800 is high for combined cost. Is it I not? still think... I mean, yeah, but, like... 
it, it's it's not I'm, I'm not making up for it I'm just saying it's something also Hex Shrinker gets a lot better or Maw gets a lot better yeah Maw also got disgusted I saw the Omni Vamp I'm like wait that's yeah, Omni also Vamp, 12% nice. until the end of combat I think that's nice I think Maw I... it's basically but... makes it so that if you're not on hit you actually have a good MRI item but all in, in my head, I'm like thinking, well, Aurelia is just insane out of the zones. Because the thing is, now she doesn't have yeah, to yeah, like. Yeah, Aurelia is insane. In, in, in a way, if she's going into like two or one AP, she doesn't need shield bow. She could literally go Strider or Gore Drinker and, and then, then just, just build dance. Maw and Death Stance. And then all yeah. of a sudden, you're Exodia. Yeah, keep in mind that uh, it does stock out hysterics, but you know. I think Sterics actually just becomes so fucking irrelevant if you have if they have two or eight or one ap i don't okay so let me let me say this uh okay wait gain 40 percent base eighty as bonus eight never mind i yeah I, I've, I've done them i've done the math on that already um is it by good? the yeah by the time that you buy this um we, I, I was doing it with shocky last night a, using atrox as an example um well keep in mind atrox does have fairly high ad growth so it's not perfect uh yeah. Using Aatrox as an example, he'd have around, I think it was like 40, 45 AD from this item at level 13. Like, 45, like 45, 50 45. from this item. At 13, right? Yeah, level 13, because his base AD at like level 13 was like 113. Not nice. Right? So 40% of that is uh, like 45, 50. Uh, yes, it is off. The, the, okay, but like the shield duration decaying is kind of depressing. Yeah, no, the the fact that it's decaying is really shit. I, okay, really, I'm really gonna shit. be honest. Because it's decaying, I think Sterex... Sterex is, is not... Lower in price. Yeah, it's not, not a great item. The heal over time is gone, fucking the fact that it's no longer per enemy that who's hit you, and it's just a flat shield that not only decays, I think, I think that this uh, item is not... is probably the worst lifeline item now. I could be wrong, but... I will get... Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I will try the Aurelia... Bill that I have in mind when this match yeah. comes up, I will get back to you comparing Sterex yeah. and, and Sutter. Sort of here, here, here is the one upside. Here's the one upside. Bonus HP shield is most likely going to is in one v ones and two and two v ones is actually bigger than um it was before. Yeah. Because you're looking at you're getting 500 from Sterex, and let's say 300 from Gorgic. That's 800. 75 percent of 800 is yeah. big, right? Yeah, it's fun. But it decays. So. <laughs> Uh, it, the decaying is absolutely depressing. The, the 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 question is, would they punch through the shield anyway? If the answer is no, then the decaying doesn't really matter. But if the answer is yes, then the decay actually matters a lot. Because yeah, <laughs> it's also, making it way faster to do that. Yeah. Also, I fucking got a dip, apparently. Alright. I will, yeah, I'll talk, I want to talk to you more about the changes later, though. Yeah, we can go over the other game, too, later if you want. I'll be here all day. Yeah, okay. I see. So yeah, I'll 